laws of nature, there is nothing impossible except that the state of your mind makes it so. A lot of work got to be done. One thing is certain, you need energy. That's important. And it must be cheap as possible. Preferable, no pollution. No noise, no heat, no vibration, no pollution. The Searle Effect Generator. The perfect machine. John Searle and his mysterious Searle Effect magnetic motor. John claimed to have developed a motor that produced more energy than it consumed using only magnets. We'll explore Searle's device, the controversy around it, and why it never came to market. Buckle up for an intriguing journey. John Searle was an inventor and researcher intrigued by physics since childhood. In the 1970s, he began experimenting with unique magnet configurations, hoping to develop an efficient electric motor. His early design showed promise, but when scaled up produced unexpected results, they were actually generating more power than input. How could magnets alone seem to produce usable free energy? Searle called his invention the Searle Effect Magnetic Motor, or SEMM. Its key part was a thin conductive aluminum disc embedded with ring magnets, spinning within a torus-shaped outer coil. Searle reported outputs up to 10,500 kilowatt hours per year enough to power one home. He published construction plans, baffling scientists how it allegedly produced energy in violation of thermodynamics. Searle theorized that by establishing the right magnetic geometry with his rotor setup, environmental electromagnetic fields were being extracted and converted to electricity. He felt the phenomenon related to theories of spacetime torsion, a concept in fringe physics that our universe vibrates with subtle potential energies. But how could his contraption truly tap open-ended free energy? Word of Searle's supposedly limitless power motor spread like wildfire in online communities. Some called it humanity's greatest invention, if real, capable of revolutionizing civilization. But mainstream science remained exceptionally skeptical, demanding concrete proof before accepting such extraordinary claims. Most viewed it as pseudoscience until independently verified. Searle formed his own research organization, the Searle Effect Motor Company, to fully analyze and develop his creation. Progress was slow, however, with goals slipping as technical hurdles emerged. Criticism grew that without open testing, Searle's motor remained an unproven hypothetical, plausible on paper alone, but not practically demonstrated as claimed. Determined to convince doubters, Searle sought partnerships with universities and major companies, but most refused without positive results from impartial third parties first analyzing his device. Lacking credible backers, Searle struggled funding R and D himself. Critics said this proved his motor was more promise than proof. Frustrated by rejection, Searle grew increasingly adversarial toward the scientific establishment. He accused them of stonewalling due to bias, not wanting to acknowledge disruptive free energy. But most argued independent review wasn't suppression. It was critical for substantiating such extraordinary claims deemed impossible by known laws. Into the 1990s, Searle's health declined as his company failed producing operating prototypes on schedule. He continued filing new patents, but delivering little tangible progress. Online, conspiracy theorists alleged shadowy interests sabotaged his work to protect fossil fuel dominance. But skeptics saw only hollow promises without open credible testing. Sadly, Searle passed in 2016 without substantiating his motor's function or commercial viability. Absent access to reliable prototypes and data, most conclude his invention remains an unproven hypothesis contradicting physics. 
but online, devoted discussion forums still debate whether Cyril had possessed groundbreaking free energy that suppressed industries quashed. While Cyril's specific claims went unverified, his pursuits helped spur related scientific inquiries. Advances in material science and electromagnetic theory now allow re-examining concepts like subtle field interactions his motor theory involved. Modern research on topological insulators and metamaterials probe frontiers Cyril explored, guided by evidence not exemption. Today, some researchers hope further studying fringe science devices through open collaboration may shed light on historic anomalies. With care and transparency, minute consistent effects could establish promising avenues, even if originating hypotheses prove wrong. Progress happens gradually through questioning status quo, leniently yet rigorously over generations. Whether Cyril possessed miraculous free energy or not, his spirit of boundless scientific inquiry lives on. From curious amateur experimenters to serious academics, visionaries persist exploring nature's farthest frontiers with imagination, humility and integrity. Basic science flourishes under diverse thoughtful philosophies uniting to push boundaries together. If future discoveries one day harness environmental energies directly as pioneers conjectured, it may arise through patience and cooperation across disciplines. Serious yet open-minded collaborative study of unusual phenomena benefits all. Advancing collective grasp of reality's deepest workings at a pace respecting complexity itself. Our quest into John Searle's magnetic motor concludes here, but inquiries never end. Independent curious souls and serious researchers worldwide push frontiers diligently yet creatively as one. May all hypotheses find fair assessment with time. And may mingling of diverse mindsets without prejudice quicken revelations, bettering lives everywhere. The exploration ever continues. While the truth of Cyril's invention remains unknown, questionable claims highlight science's self-correcting nature. Skepticism protects discovery's integrity until reproducibility satisfies all. Though ambitions of unlimited energy excite, diligent verification ensures humanity progresses knowledge safely at pace respecting complexity. For curious youths particularly, pioneers like Searle symbolize imagination's vital role in innovation. Their spirits personify creativity mixed with evidence-seeking bettering lives. No frontier stays sealed when reasonably assessed with open yet rigorous minds over generations. Basic science ever flourishes under varied dignified philosophies uniting in common progress. <laughs>